What's going on, everybody? I'm driving right now, and I didn't want to go live for this video because it's only going to be a couple minutes. I don't even know if you could see me. I really wanted to talk about something. I was going to wait until I made a video tonight, and but I, I, I couldn't wait on it just because it's something that's been weighing on my mind a lot in the past couple days especially. Now, before I go on, I really want to stress the fact that I hope, I pray that I am wrong when it comes to this. I'll take a sip of my coffee real quick before this red light goes. I pray that I am wrong when it comes to this and just have a funny feeling just regarding everything, right? A lot of people have been talking about, oh, the whole Taliban thing, you know, all of that, which people are wondering, people at work were asking me, people are making videos about it. I saw Tim was making videos about it, you know, talking about, you know, what what he thinks is going on. I want to entertain a thought. And you can call it whatever you want. You can call it just me, you know, talking, whatever. You can call it a prediction, what have you. But I really want to stress the fact that I hope that I am wrong. Now, let, let's look let, let's look at the recent chain of events. The Department of Homeland Security released that bulletin. I did a video on it. You guys all seen it. Now, in that bulletin, they said that they were concerned about the Taliban because they released their English translated newsletter or something like that, and they were worried that it would influence, you know, domestic terrorists, which are anybody they say it is. They're talking about also the possibility of attacks around the 20th anniversary of 9-11, right? What if, and, and, and we already know with all the rhetoric and everything that they're doing, they, they can't hide a certain thing that's going on that a lot of people are starting to really figure out the hard way. You all know what I'm referring to. What if they pulled off this major false flag? Now, here, here's where my thoughts come in. What I Because you also got to take into account all of it. All of it including the fact that Syria has not yet been toppled and made part of the New World Order. They, they tried. They failed. They're still trying. We haven't heard anything about it for a while. What is going... What are you doing, dude? Are you pulling off? Are you... Okay, he's pulling off. Okay, so... They pull off this false flag. Boom. Then... They blame domestic terrorists, but they say that they were influenced by Taliban who are mad because we have to put troops back over there, which they're they're getting ready to do. And then that they, they can one in two foul swoops, they can blame or one foul swoop, they blame domestic terrorists. Crack down here, use that and the influence on or from the Taliban and their English based newsletter or whatever to put more troops back in Afghanistan and if you know anything about geography Afghanistan is the gateway to the Middle East look it up on the map on a real map too even on the crap map that they give us but the real map also Afghanistan is the gateway to the Middle East Okay, so they pull the false flag. Big one. Emotions will be high. 20th anniversary of September 11th. Blame domestic terrorists. 
whoever they call domestic terrorists. Crack down here, which we know they want to do, invade the Middle East again, put all bases of operation in Afghanistan into Iraq, go and take Syria. That would be the ideal move for them to do on this grand chessboard that is the world stage. I hope I'm wrong. I really sincerely hope that I am wrong. But this is something that has been... I've been thinking about it. It makes sense. It would explain the rhetoric, the building up of the the Taliban in the news, right? <clears throat> it would take our attention off of uh, something that's happening with a certain set of people that went out and, you know, did something that they were warned against doing. They could crack down here with their martial law tactics. We know what they're doing with the Walmarts. It covers all angles. That's the only thing that I can really think of of why. And on the footage that we're getting from Afghanistan on the plane we saw in 1109, which of course is 9-11, right? Think about it. Just think about it. Oh, there's the police. Got somebody pulled over. Road pirate. Anyway, just think about that. It's just something I'm thinking about, you know. They already issued their bulletin, warning people of attacks. Already got it set up to where they can. They had the Taliban in there. They had domestic terrorists in there. <clears throat> it covers all angles. Tell me that's not a viable option for them to pull. Because people are like, oh, well, they, they can blame Afghanistan. They can blame domestic terrorists or whoever. What they say, when I say that, I'm using their terminology for what they say. But what if it's all of it? What if they're going to do exactly that? Pull some big false flag. Blame... American people say that they were influenced by Taliban fighters I'm at the gas station and then do all of those things that I just explained that they would do it's agenda 21 guys agenda 2030 they still have to get these nation states they still have to do all of these things just a thought that I was putting out there. I hope I'm wrong. But in the event that I'm right, I would like to spread awareness on it because you hindsight's 2020. If something like that did happen, I'll be kicking myself in the ass that I didn't say anything about it. Maybe I'll make a video later on. It, it depends. I got some stuff to do. Got some running around, but... Just think about it, guys. Just really think about it. I hope I'm wrong. Gotta go get gas. God bless.